Hello and welcome to the next exercise video on the classical mechanics. Today we will solve an exercise on Isaac Newton's laws of motion, speed and acceleration. Hi, my name is Xenophon Karyophilis and today, like every Monday, we will solve some exercises on the things that we have already discussed on Thursday's theory videos. If you are new to my channel and want to follow me in my journey into physics, consider subscribing. You can watch the playlists about the exercise on the theory videos in the links below the description. As already mentioned before, today's exercise is all about the Newton's law of motion and acceleration and velocity. Let's not waste any more time and move to the exercise. The exercise is the following. As you can see on the whiteboard, we have an object moving to the right with a starting velocity and a force that decelerates the object until it stops. The magnitude of that force is given by the equation on the top of the whiteboard. The first question of the exercise is to find the total distance S that the object covered until it stopped and the second question is to find the time in which the velocity drops to the half of the starting velocity. Let's move to solving the first question. At first we use the second law of Newton in order to find the acceleration of the object from the equation that is given from the force. Then, since we know that acceleration is the change of speed over time and using the chain rule, the variable of distance appears. Now we separate the variables of distance and speed and we solve the triangles with limits from the starting conditions to the total distance and the zero speed. And finally we have the equation for the distance and the total distance that the object has covered. Now let's move to the second question. We start again from Newton's second law of motion in order to find the acceleration of the object from the equation that is given for the force. Then since we know that acceleration is the change of speed over time, we separate the time and speed variables and we solve the integrals with limits from the initial condition to the time and the half speed of the starting velocity and we finally arrive to the time in which the st velocity drops to the half of the starting velocity. Just the two integrals. In order to solve the integral in the second question, we used the method on the whiteboard. If you want to watch the theory behind this episode, you should watch the part 2 of the Classical Mechanics mini-series. 
follow the link below in the description or in the YouTube card above. If you like this episode, subscribe to my channel, share and comment on this video to let me know whether you found this exercise helpful or not. Thank you for watching and see you in another episode of A Journey Into Physics.